boys and girls, it's Miss Sorrentino again from 2202, and we're going to continue on this reading nonfiction journey. So I heard yesterday and throughout the weeks you've been reading about Poison Dark Frogs. So today we're going to continue to read. But I was thinking about last night, and I was at home with my family, and everybody was asking questions. What are you doing? How do you know this? Where is it? And I was thinking about second graders and reading nonfiction books. And today I want to teach you as you read and you get to a section, you have to stop and think and ask yourself questions. Questions like, who or what is it about? What is happening? Who, when or where is it taking place? Why is it happening? Or why is this important? These questions are so important for you to ask yourselves as you read certain questions. And I know yesterday you read about frog toads. Today we're going to read the section on frog eggs. After we read the section on frog eggs, we're going to pause and ask ourselves some questions. Are you ready for it? Frog eggs. This is a frog egg up close. And it says, a female poison dart frog lays five to 40 eggs at a time. She lays the eggs in a little puddle of water. A mother and father frog stays near the eggs. In about two weeks, tiny tadpoles, ooh, tadpoles is a bold word, break out of the eggs. And then the little caption on the bottom says, a fan small poison frog with eggs. So the picture shows a parent frog with the eggs. Now, after I read this section, I might be a little confused. And one way to fix our confusion is to stop, think, and ask ourselves some questions. So the first question is, who or what is this section about? Well, I could tell you right now, this section is about frogs and laying frog eggs. What is happening in this section? Well, I could tell you in this section, we're learning all about a mama frog laying eggs. Where or when is this taking place? Well, it told us specific information that mamas lay their eggs in a puddle of water. And then why is it happening? Well, it's happening so tadpoles can grow. And why is this important? Well, this section is very important because it teaches us all that we need to know about mama frogs laying eggs. It's also important because the mama has to lay the eggs. And the next section is all about frog tadpoles or frog babies. So as you read today, I want you to look at your nonfiction book and look at the sections. When you're done with one section, I want you to stop, think, and ask yourself these important questions of who or what is this about? What is happening? When or where is it taking place? Why is this happening? And why is this important? As you read, I want you then to post on the bottom your book with the title, the author, and why is the section so important? That question is so important in itself. Thank you guys. Happy reading.